Assalamualaikum Hi student Now we are going to discuss Experiment 2 Plotting and analyzing Linear graph The objective for this experiment Is to develop Skill in plotting And analyzing Linear graphs Linear graph is used to represent the relationship of two experimental quantities. This is the example of linear graph. The graph is straight line and has x axis which is independent variable, y axis dependent variable. Linear graph obeys the following equation y equals to fx plus c, m is the gradient, and c is the intercept on the y axis. In order to understand the plotting linear graph, we should discuss data table, plotting graph, and analyzing graph. How to create data table? Data table is consists of a few columns and rows. The number of rows and columns are depend on the number of data collected from the experiments. Each column must have name, symbol of the quantities, uncertainty, which is the smaller scale of the apparatus, and also units of the quantities. The data table consists of two items, which is measured data and calculated data. For the Measure data, they have uncertainty, which is smaller scale of apparatus. For this example, the land is measured by using meter ruler. So, the uncertainty is 0.1 cm taken from the smaller scale of meter ruler. For the calculated data, Data must be two or three decimal places and consistently. We have three items for plotting graph. Exit scale, label and title. Calculate centroid. Best straight line. How to plot graph? Let's try. Draw label, mark the two axes, and give its units. The units must be inserted in the bracket. Choose appropriate skills, at least 80% of the sectional paper. The scale should be multiple 10, 5, 2, 1. 
and do not use odd number plot all points clearly with cross symbol at this stage you can see the pattern of the distribution of the graph points if there is a point which is clearly too far off from the rest it is necessary to repeat the measurement or omit it then you need to calculate the centroid and plot in on the graph and mark as circle on the graph for this example the centroid is at point 5.22 and for the y is 0.71 draw a baseline through the centroid and balance points above the line are roughly in equal number and position to those below the line determine the gradient of the line by draw dotted line choose two points which is not data point to calculate the gradient of the graph do you get it everyone let me simplify for you Analyzing graph Determination of gradient Choose two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 which lie on the line, not the data points Draw the right angle triangle using these two points Gradient is calculated by using this formula We need to consider the units for gradient Draw triangle using a dotted line. Choose two point which is not data point and make sure the width of triangle more than 8 cm. Formula to determine gradient is M equal to Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Determine gradient by using the formula we can calculate the value for gradient under graph. Here, the gradient under graph is 83.33 meter per second. But don't forget about the decimal places. Decimal places must be scale divided 20. For example, y axis 1 divided 20 equal to 0 0.05 means they have two decimal places for x axis 0.1 divide 20 equal to 0 0.005 which is three decimal places do not forget to include the prefix and last convert it to si unit determine the y intercept Y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis and always labeled by C. From the graph, at x equal to 0, y equal to negative 0.50 cm. Therefore, y-intercept which is C equal to negative 0.50 cm. Decimal places, same as the y-axis which is 1 divided 20 equal to 0 
means that they have two decimal places. Comparing the linear graph equation with experiment equation. Linear equation. Experiment equation. From both equations, we find that m equal to v over 4. v equal to 4m equal to 4 times 83.33. 83.33 is actually gradient from the graph. So V equal to 333.33 meter per second. C equal to 0 0.50 centimeter with each Y intercept from the graph. Okay student, let us try this quiz. Thank you for your time. Assalamualaikum.